Hey lovely people, I'm back after a long long break. So today I'm going to show you how to propagate this variety of pothos. So I have this beautiful hanging thing here. It's like a small urli which you can use for flowers or incense or whatever. And I'm going to use it to put this plant. So what I have done is I have trimmed, as you can see, I have trimmed keeping the roots intact from a node. So I have not damaged the mother plant and neither this one. Then I have put it here. Now this particular hanging planter has this stick here. So I have used cable ties and I have snipped off the excess to give it some stability. Now what you are going to need is some water. You are going to need these clippers which is what I have used to neatly clip and not yank. It needs to be in a place where there, there will be sunshine and of course I am not using soil, I am using water. So now what I am going to do is, first I will check that is it's quite securely attached. So I can add a little bit of weight. So I have here these lovely um, stones that I collected from the beach. And I'm going to spread it out evenly and I have some lovely shells as well because it's going to be in water and you'll see the shells have a beautiful sheen to it and also taken on some moss. That's part of the beauty. So I'm done with putting what I want. I may put a few more shells and now I'm going to top this with water so that the root is submerged. Once a week or once in 10 days you need to make sure that you tip this water out and you put fresh water because you don't want any breeding to happen for mosquitoes so this is what it looks like and it's right at the entrance it's secure and you'll notice there's something climbing from here it's another variety of pothos or money plant it's a variegated one which is coming from one old sipper which i've used as a planter and a long tendril i've kind of looped it here so it's going to grow very beautifully these are just some small things that you can do to add beauty to your home you can even put this indoors but make sure it's near a window or some secondary sunlight should come in i hope you enjoyed this and keep watching i'm going to add one more stone here to balance it keep watching for more videos now you know what these stones because they're in water they're going to look beautiful so this is i'll just bring you in for a close-up so this is how lovely it looks and then we go up and that's the beauty so this is a wandering dew which i've tethered to this beautiful cast iron tree of life which i've suspended again from these rafters and it looks just wonderful and there's some a gate pieces here and stone pieces because it's at eye level when you walk up the stairs to the entrance and you want to make it beautiful and this is my little parrot and of course you have the wind chime which is tinkling rather merrily today since there's a breeze stay tuned for more such nifty little videos where you can use what you have in your house to add and create a corner or create a thing of beauty take care stay blessed